What is no man's land in tennis? Well, basically the most fundamental description of no man's land is the area on the tennis court between the service line and the back baseline. That general area is called no man's land. Why? Well, you're not supposed to be there really. It's not always a great place to stand. The reason it's not a good place to stand is that good tennis players generally are taught to hit their balls land in no man's land, which means that if you're standing in no man's land, a lot of times you're going to have to hit the ball when it's at your toes. Really hard shot to hit. So pros will teach their students not to stand in no man land. However, there are times when it's good, and Kirk's going to talk about that. If you're playing a player who has a weak serve, stand a couple of yards inside the baseline so that you have an easy chance to get to that weak shot. No man's land is really more about when you hang out in that area in the court for more than one shot. Offensive players are often in what technically we call no man's land, but they're striking the ball aggressively and they're clearing out of the zone. When you park there, it's a no parking zone. That's <laughs> when it becomes no man's land, okay? That's a great point. And invariably, a lot of shots can be executed there great, like a drop shot. That's a great area to hit a drop shot. But, like Kirk said, if you hit the drop shot and stand there, you're in for some trouble. So, that's no man's land in tennis.